Hello and thank you for coming back to Draw With Me again today. Hope you're looking forward to 20 minutes where we put everything else to one side and just focus on drawing. We're going to have a go today at drawing some textural rocks and I'm going to be using an HB pencil and also my 4B pencil but if you've just got one that's absolutely fine. And if there's time at the end I'm also going to put a little bit of colour so I'm going to use a blue and a yellow colouring pencil if there is some time. So we're going to focus today just on it making interesting marks with our pencil and trying to recreate the texture of the rocks. So I don't want you to think about how it might look at the end but instead really just enjoy the process of playing around with how you might make different marks and show different textures. So draw along with me and don't worry about copying my drawing or copying the photograph, just enjoy the process of making a drawing together. So go and grab the materials you want to use today and a beverage of choice and I'll see you in a moment. Our focus today is going to be all of these interesting little textures that are on the rocks in this image and we're not going to worry at all about getting it to be exactly like the picture as always. So we can start by marking in our shapes for our different rocks. So as always, take your time to find the line that you like. Don't worry about erasing things, rubbing things out. Just keep drawing until you find a line that you like for each rock. So take a moment to just draw out the different shapes in a way that you like. So keep your lines nice and light and if you have any lines that you find are distracting to you, you can rub them out. And although I can't see the bottom of this rock, I'm just going to draw it in how I think. And I'm just going to remove some of the, the lines that I think might distract me, but just the ones that are maybe outside of the shape that I want to use. So now I'm going to put a bit of tone, but quite light tone, onto some of my rocks. Because what I want to get rid of is the idea of any outline around them. And I'm just going to put them in as blocks of grey, but I will have a little look for any areas where the light is hitting it. And any areas that are very dark, and put those in as well but in a very light tone. And I'm not worried about getting these exactly in the right spots or anything like that. So you can use the side of your lead if you want to, or if you have a softer part on your pencil, that's fine too. 
just to put a very light grey and then I'm just putting in a slight darkness where each rock kind of sits on the other one because it's quite dark there. So the aim here was just to get rid of any really obvious outlines and just put a little bit of tone down. And I'm going to switch actually to my 4B pencil now, but if you've just got one pencil then just use that one pencil. And I'm also going to grab a bit of paper to lean on. So now we're going to have fun putting in all of these textures. So you can think about how you might make some marks with your pencil. Or if you're using a pen you can do a very similar thing and we're, at, we're going to have no um, effort at trying to match exactly what's on the rock. We're just going to put in different marks, looking at maybe some of these different lines and bumps. You could use the side of your pencil or you could use the tip of your pencil or a bit, a bit of a mixture of both and just putting in some marks to try to show the rough texture. So really have fun with this, using your pencil in any way that you want really, so up and down a little bit, side of the lid, to try and show how there might be some roughness to this rock. So there's no particular technique with this, I want you just to have fun thinking about the rough texture and thinking maybe how you could make that with some little swirls or pushing a little bit harder or a little bit softer to try and make the nice rough texture. So have fun with this, don't worry about how it's looking, just thinking about enjoying how you might make different marks, little scribbles, little lines, little cracks. I'm rolling my pencil like that for a bit, for example. So just enjoy playing with the way that you can make different marks with your pencil or your pen. And when you get to bits that are where you maybe have shaded a bit darker, then just push a little harder so that your marks will still show up on top of your shading. So this one has some interesting lines on it that I might just try and recreate a little bit. But still making interesting little textural marks too.
So just work your way up in your own pace and enjoy having fun with this one. There's really no right or wrong to whatever you feel like doing. Making little dots, making little more up and down marks, looking at some of the little interesting cracks. Keep it quite scribbly if you want to. So with this one I'm taking some of my lines up a little bit so I can see the ones on the rocker like that. So this one almost has little spots of grey on it, so I'm putting some of those in. And I'm still trying to maintain a little bit of the sun hitting the rocks and where the light and dark will be. This rock is pretty much smooth. So I'm going to leave that one almost as it is. So I'm just going back and putting in perhaps a slightly stronger shadow and a bit more strength into some of the textures around the bottom part. So you just carry on enjoying making the marks that you want to make, moving your pencil around however you fancy. Pushing a little harder, a little softer.
And if you want to use your eraser just to get back some areas maybe where you shaded over where the light might hit it, just looking at some of those little spots then you can do. And they'll still have texture in them, but that texture will just be a little lighter. So you can leave your textured stones there, but I think I would like to, because it feels like such a nice sunny um, atmosphere, I'm going to put in a little bit of colour just into the background very softly, so just with my blue pencil. And if you felt like it, you could put in the, the circles of the dappled light in the photograph. Or you can just put in a nice flat block of colour. And you could do this with some watercolour paints or some crayons as well. A little bit of yellow and then some just interesting textures of grey. And just some soft blue just in with my grace. Tidy up any areas that I think I've smudged a little. Any spots where you want to lighten for sunlight hitting off the edge.
So thank you very much for drawing with me again today and I really hope you enjoyed it. And as always, I'd love to see all of your drawings so you can share them with me on Instagram, on Facebook or on Twitter at The City Workshop. All the details are below. And I really hope you'll come back and draw with me again tomorrow. So I'll see you then.